iPhone X not selling well. Death by MRI. And Carrick buying Dr. Pepper. Hi, I'm Rob Onspock from Onspock Media, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 21 of What's Trending. If you're just tuning in, what I do is I take some of the trending subjects found on Facebook and give you my take, my spin, my thoughts, my opinion. Well, let's just jump right in because the high production at the time, iPhone X, is dwindling in sales. And Apple reportedly halves the iPhone X production after disappointing holiday sales. Imagine that. I think it has to do with the $1,000 price tag. And you know what? I really don't need face emojis. I mean, really. So starting at $999, the iPhone X is Apple's most advanced model to date, but it's apparently not selling well enough to keep manufacturing at current rates. Hmm. Yep. So as disappointing as the iPhone X is, they're still making money. Apple is already planning another phone. wonder what that number will be. Will they do the 11, 12? Maybe they'll just start over. So maybe it'd be something totally different. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get the iPhone X. I think, you know, I'll just wait. I still have a 6. It's paid for. And it's not glitchy, so I still use it. What model What model do you have? Do you still have a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or an X? 12. No, 12 didn't come out. But comment below. Let me know. Well, I'm not getting an MRI anytime soon. Not after this guy. It says a man is killed after being sucked into an MRI scanner. It says uh, Rahish Mahru, 32, was dragged towards the machine by its magnetic force after he entered the room carrying an oxygen cylinder. Yeah. Death by MRI. That's just one more thing that they're going to add to that show, A Thousand Ways to Die. You were magnetically killed. Nope. Nuh-uh. I've seen that movie. Well, for all you Dr. Pepper fans, Carrick, the coffee-making manufacturer, whatever you want to call them, these little pods, must have made enough money because now they're buying Dr. Pepper in an $18.7 billion deal. Great. But it says here, J&B Holding Company, audacious effort to build a food and beverage empire, which apparently already includes Krispy Kreme donuts and caribou coffee, has taken a surprise turn into soft drinks. I always thought that Dr. Pepper and 7-Up were together, but apparently, I don't know, maybe this whole deal is going to get bigger. So now you can get your coffee and your caffeine all at the same place. Now they just need to buy some chocolate. And you got your donuts, and you got your soda, and your coffee, major food group, and you're you're set. Yep. So, well, I guess you know, donuts and coffee, the police are covered, right? I know it's a bad joke, but anyway. Well, that's it for tonight, really. I mean, that's all the trends I have. All the rest of them really weren't worthy. It's either watching me or watching the State of the Union. I think that's on tonight. Or is it this week? I don't I don't pay attention to politics. But it's somewhere up there. Anyway, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about what I do, I know you're curious. Visit me at onspockmedia.com. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in for future episodes. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Have a good night.